I had recently spawned a new world in single-player Minecraft. Everything was normal at first as I began chopping down some trees and crafting a workbench. I noticed something move amongst the dense fog. I have a very slow computer so I have to play with a tiny render distance. I thought it was a cow so I pursued it, hoping to grab some hides for armor. It wasn't a cow though. Looking back at me was another character with a default skin. But his eyes were empty. I saw no name pop up and I double checked to make sure I wasn't in multiplayer mode. He didn't stay long. He looked at me and quickly ran into the fog. I pursued out of curiosity but he was gone. I continued on with the game, not sure what to think. As I expanded to the world I saw things that seemed out of place for the random map generator making. Two by two tunnels in the rocks, small perfect pyramids made out of sand in the ocean, and grooves of trees with all the leaves cut off. I could constantly think I saw the other player in the deep fog but I never got a better look at him. I tried increasing my render distance to far whenever I thought I saw him too but to no avail. I saved the map and went onto the forum to see if anyone else had found this pseudo player but there were none. I created my own topic telling of the man and asking if anyone had a similar experience. The post was deleted within 5 minutes. I tried again and the topic was deleted even faster. I received a PM from user Herobrine containing one word, stop. When I went to look at Herobrine's profile the page for OD, I received a small email from another forum user. He claimed the mods can read the forum user's message so we are safer using emails. The email claimed that he had seen the mystery player too and he had a small directory of other users who had seen him as well. The roads were littered with obviously man-made features as well and described their mystery player to have no pupils. About a month passed until I heard from my informant again. Some of the people who had encountered the mystery man had looked into the name Herobrine and found that name to be frequently used by a Swedish gamer. After some further information gathering, it was revealed to be the brother of Notch, the game's developer. I had personally emailed Notch and asked if he had a brother. It took him a while to respond, but he emailed me back a very short message. I did, but he's no longer with us. I haven't seen the mystery man since our first encounter, and I haven't noticed any changes to the world other than my own. I was able to press Brent's screen when I first saw him. Here's the only evidence of his existence. My, my, my. What a neat little story. So, for a bit, I am going to be doing, you know, uh, some shorter ones uh, as I do got college going on. So, yeah, for the meantime, I will be doing creepy reading, but uh, there will be mainly, you know, short stories. We might get a longer story, you know, once in a blue moon. But for right now, I'm going to be just doing uh, short creepy readings. But uh, enough about that. Let's talk about the actual story and what I think about it. So, once again, we have another gaming creepypasta, and what, this is the second one on the channel? Now, I will say, though, that this one is actually pretty good. Honestly, I do like this one. A lot of people overlook this one, but honestly, I kind of like the story as it keeps it short, and really, it just in depicting an encounter that a player had with your brain. You know, it doesn't go into you know any detail you know it doesn't say oh the hero brian popped out of the screen and attacked me and murdered my whole family or you know oh he made me see bloods and gore like no it just tells us a simple encounter that the player had you know there was no creepy shit that happened uh of course that being said though there are some dumb stuff in this story that do kind of happen which i'll get on to in a bit but yeah, when this story first came out, uh, it sort of, I wouldn't say changed Minecraft, but it really did add this whole new layer of like, you know, creepiness. Because when you play the game Minecraft, you automatically assume that you're alone. You know, you're the only person in that world. You know, of course you do you got, you know, your animals, villagers, and mobs, but there's always this this hero brian sort of plays on that feeling like oh are you really alone you know is there someone watching you from a distance and i do like the whole you know that you're not really alone uh, in this uh sandbox game type of feeling you know i don't know it it's weird because when this story came out a lot of 
a lot of people who played Minecraft would, you know, come up with their own uh, interactions with Hero Ryan. You know, I, of course, never encountered Hero Ryan. I never really had any creepy shit happening. There are some people who've supposedly claimed, which probably is just complete bullshit. But honestly, it's Hero Ryan is a neat little accident that happened to the whole Minecraft community, in my opinion. And this story does a pretty good job, you know, sort of introducing, uh, what is it, Hero Ryan to the whole mainstream. Because after this story, there was, I think, a live stream by a uh, YouTuber or something that supposedly encountered Hero Brian. Of course, it was later revealed to be fake. Uh, there's like a clip out there somewhere. I'll probably, if I can find it, I'll play it on the screen. If not, well, yeah, sucks, mate. I couldn't find it. But now the part I will, now the story itself, the one part that I do kind of roll my eyes at is the whole, you know, part where they're trying to upload the whole forum and then like it keeps getting deleted faster and faster and faster and then some guy messaging him says stop name hero brian and apparently he clicks on the profile of 4ods i mean come on that's kind of fucking dumb that sorry but that that, that kind of took me out of it and then another part that took me out of it was the whole part where you know he emailed the creator of notch who said that he had a brother and you know he didn't anymore which i mean that first off the fact that i mean keep in mind this is early minecraft i'm pretty sure notch was busy at that time so the fact that he would respond you know to that just saying one thing is kind of dumb and also like of course in the story they do provide a screenshot you know of what the player you know of what the player saw but like you can show us a screenshot of the email i don't know it seems kind of fishy to me now of course there's the big question is hero brian real no all right simply put it no uh mojang has gone on and stated that hero brian is not real and even notch himself has said multiple times that hero brian is not real and as for his whole brother thing he said that he has a half brother but he's never met him and no, he has no biological brother. So yeah, there's also that. Uh, one thing I should point out though is that Mojang sort of had this running gag where they would put removed Herobrine, but I think it was in the anniversary of Herobrine's creation when they did not put removed Herobrine. So yeah, I don't know. It was in it was a couple updates ago. I don't know if it's still you know if they removed Hero Brian in the newest Minecraft update. Keep in mind I haven't I haven't really I don't I haven't played Minecraft as much as I did before, so I'm not you know up to date with what's new and what has been added. So forgive me if I don't know my Minecraft lore. But um yeah, overall story's all right. There's some you know little things and you know take you out of it but it's a good neat little campfire story and i recommend checking it out if you know you want a short little story so uh yeah anyways uh with that being said uh thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe we're we already passed 100 subs and if we can get to uh, 200 subs that would be greatly appreciated if not you know one out of 150 so anyways with that being said uh Dislike the video if you dislike it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And with that being said, oh, and don't forget to check out my other social medias as well. Uh, link in the description. Same with the original story. So with that being said, I am out.